Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob from Ranger Rob Country Living. I want to say hello to everybody. Been a pretty busy week. Uh, we uh, just uh, did our second show for She Said, He Said. That went really good and uh, very happy with that. And uh, today, I thought I'd talk about having a homestead, but there's a problem sometimes. When you have a homestead or, let's say, a self-sufficient property, um, it's easy to get so caught up in the work every day. There's something to do. There's a, a building to fix, a equipment to fix equipment to fix and animals to feed and and on and on so it's really easy to forget to smell the roses so every once in a while sherry and i will just take a day and do well not nothing but basically just soak it in and i think that's important to do those have those kind of days we call it soak it in days and it's really a day to evaluate how far you've come and where you want to go <laughs> and so a lot of times like we have some chairs here we had a fire we we're burning the other day and uh, we sat there for a long period of time just talking about old ideas of course my wife says I got a great idea we should build our gazebo by ourselves <laughs> it's like oh I don't think we're that good a contractor. But then I'm thinking, well, if I had the right schematics, maybe we could do it. So maybe uh, next spring we might actually build our own gazebo. We'll see. But anyway, sometimes it's kind of good to kind of like picture what your garden's going to look like for the spring. Uh, some people do almost year-round stuff. Or what we're going to do with our birds. Um, one of the other things I told you is I actually want to bring in checker that checker they're a partridge um, I used to raise them but I only want them for pets and uh, and I'm also kind of interested in doing meat birds it all depends on the economy um, you know meat birds are a lot of work and of course you've got to do the butchering and you got to have the freezer space I'm fascinated by a three month growth time and then butcher time and uh, I know it's uh, they're a harder bird to raise you'll lose maybe 10 or 15 percent of them when you buy them um, but uh, it'd be kind of interesting to do a set of meat birds because uh, I watched Justin Rhodes the other day and he's like I got a hundred birds after what was left and they butchered had over 400 and some odd pounds of meat in the freezer. That's a great return. That's a really good return. And uh, it'll be interesting. We're still waiting. Um, we haven't done our day three build on this uh, greenhouse, by the way, uh, because we're waiting for the door, which will be the front part of this uh, frame. Once we have the door and we install it, which is up in front of the building of the shop, We'll put that in and then we'll be putting a roof on, which would be the 16 ounce, 16 ounce, 16 foot cattle panels and busy chickens. And uh, uh, then we'll be putting some strips along the side for, and then we're gonna, I call them zigzag something or the other, but they're called wiggle wire. Uh, we'll probably order a, um, a case of those. Um, a case of 10, six footers, we have to kind of do measurements. We may have to get two cases. Who knows? And uh, order our plastic. So uh, we got a few things to get, but once the framing's up, it'll go pretty fast. So we're looking forward to getting this uh, greenhouse done and seeing what we can accomplish with it. And uh, but just like today, it's a quiet day. Not trying to do a whole lot of chores. Not building anything today. Uh, working on the computer and I, I've got other things I do more than just this show and so uh, uh, Some days I need just to spend the day working on marketing and advertising for the other shows we do and uh, Next week uh, I'm gonna record how we produce 
She Said, He Said show, which is a very popular show. And uh, uh, yes, we put a copy of it on this channel, but it actually gets hundreds, if not thousands of views through the different ways that we do it. We actually um, uh, go on YouTube. We do it on several uh, Facebook streaming shows. Plus, we turn it into a podcast and we upload it to different podcast platforms. And we uh, um, put it on a radio station. And so uh, I thought it'd be kind of interesting so you guys could see the how it's, how we set up the whole crew, the six on the crew, sometimes guests, and get them all coordinated to be on time on Wednesdays at 6 p.m., which is Pacific time, and uh, go through a show. We're not gonna actually sh record the background of doing the whole show, just the beginning of coordination and how we do it. Um, if people, I, I'm kind of thinking you might be interested in that. Um, so uh, anyway, um, the other thing is, I know we get a, pe a lot of people that come in and out on our videos. Um, I like to urge you to please, below, just say hello. I stopped by, um, like your videos, or come visit my video, or whatever you'd like to say, and just say hello, so we kind of know you. And uh, when you do that, if you have a channel that you'd like us to visit, um, you don't have to put the channel link in there. All I have to do is click on your, in YouTube, all I have to do is click on your uh, title, which is next to the comment, and we'll come visit you, and uh, we'll try to see if it's a channel that we'd like to subscribe to so we can watch your content. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, i got to figure out where my dogs went. Oh, there's one. There's a cinder playing in the dirt. You're a dirty dog. Look at you. Are you playing in the dirt? She's just being a little bit more chocolate than she should be. There's the other one. Hey, pal. Come here. What are you doing? You being a good girl? So they kind of it's a nice warm day and they're just kind of relaxing a little bit. Belle really likes to play with these chickens. And the funny thing about these chickens is, I don't know if you can see it, but these chickens challenge her. Look at this. I don't know if you can see this. So, so now we get this uh, new chicken game. The game. They literally play with each other, which is really cool. At first, we kind of used to get mad at Belle chasing the chickens. Now the chickens are chasing her, so it's kind of funny. Where's that, Belle? So, uh, game over. Squirrel. Anyway, guys, uh... I guess I should move on to a new subject. Well, to wrap up this video, um, by the way, it was funny when I put the camera in with the chickens, they surrounded it like a wagon train. <laughs> and uh, it was kind of cute. But anyway, uh, by the time this video comes out, it will be probably during or just after the election. And it will be so different to see if our world changes. 
And uh, some of these things that we've been talking about, whether they come to pass, uh, whether we'll have issues or not, um, I still think, no matter how things turn out, and uh, really, by the time you see this video, I think, because uh, we're about one week ahead in our videos, it'll be interesting to see if our lives change, if new concerns happen, if there's civil unrest, or maybe it's just fine. Um, we, you know, there'll be yelling and screaming on both sides, but uh, it'll be interesting to see for some of us that we're kind of getting ready for this event, whether the prepping, being more self-sufficient, being uh, more of a homestead, uh, getting into the country living, getting away from the populations, was that a wise idea or not? It may not be something that just shows up on after the election. It may be something that's a slow going thing where, um, you know, my biggest concern is, of course, civil unrest, but shortages is really the big thing. Um, all I want to do is have a safe place to live, a safe place for my family, and food in our bellies. Um, and, uh, and uh, to be able to be comfortable with my faith and not be prosecuted. I, I can't believe I actually have to say that. But uh, it is a concern. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, I think I'll wrap this up here. I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, please take the time to like and subscribe. The best thing you could do with our channel, if you want to help us, is share our videos. And, uh, and hit the like button. We do appreciate that. And uh, also, um, a lot of you folks that watch us um, don't subscribe. And some do. I mean, but anyway, take the time to hit that subscription. And give us a chance to, uh, you know, every, every video is not, you don't have to watch. You, know, you can always play a video. If you don't like it, just skip it. The next one might be of your interest. I don't know. But we do love you all. We do appreciate your comments. We love the support and uh, get on board, become a part of our family. So we'll talk to you later guys, bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.